A lonely country cottage stands sitting desolate in a small country town. This 129-year-old home called Bethany was built by Martin and Eleanor Bethany. Martin was the town's blacksmith while Eleanor was the town's cathedral organist. Having no children of their own, the couple lived in this two-room cottage for around 56 years and also farmed the land behind the cottage. They grew potatoes and also farmed wheat and barley. In 1947, Eleanor caught tuberculosis and passed away leaving Martin to maintain the land on his own. Martin, lonely and heartbroken, was never remarried and lived in this home until his passing in 1981. The home was left attendant for 25 years until a mine corp claimed her once again, housing miners and then abandoned in 2009. I met one of the neighbours who now looks after the old cottage and he has said the old home is haunted. Could this be Martin? As we explored this home, I took numerous photographs and noticed a picture of a woman Using an infrared light, I caught an image in the picture. Could this have been Martin? And was this a picture of Eleanor? I asked the neighbor if I could come back and do a spirit investigation, and he said to me that would be fine. So it looks like we will be spending the night in this lonely old cottage. The story begins here in the sad lonely cottage. We're on the fringes of the South Australian outback, a mining town. We will reveal the chilling secrets that may well be the most haunted house we have ever been to. Welcome guys and welcome to another episode of Werner's Adventures. Well, this place here, um, believe it or not, is actually open. Um, there is a lot of neighbouring houses around, around here though, and it is abandoned. So we are going to go in and check it out. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? It's an old cottage and it's called Bethany. Um, you would think there was someone living here, but it is actually abandoned. Um, so, let's go in. I think that door is open. But before we go in, let's have a bit of a look around um, the outsides. Oh, look at this cool. Look at that. That's cool, the artwork. Hmm. Well, yeah, one in security. Hmm, well, that window's seen better days, so 
Mm. It looks like someone's that lemon tree is so well looked after, eh, Megan? Mm -hmm. um, look at that. I want to get the drone out. How cool is that? All right, guys. Well, hopefully, no one's seen us here. Well, we're going to go in. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like that door's broken. All right. Prints on there. Wow, look at the roof. Oh, wow. Ceiling. What have we got there? Oh, it's a harpsichord, isn't it? Or a clever net. Wow. Not sure. Oh, I'll leave the books. You got these speakers. Wow, they're massive. And some cupboards. Like oh, look at that, guys. There's handprints on there. It's just an awesome old, old, old cabinet with glassware. Does that open? Wow. Let's have a look in here. I'm gonna hope we haven't walked into someone's house and they're at work. <laughs> the house was open. House was open. Oh, do you wait till you see the bathroom? Uh, the <laughs> bathroom, the bedroom. Oh. That's pretty. <laughs> it is. What have we got in here? Oh, Preserved wow. Jams. Preserved jams. Apple and date. Oh, there's a train coming. A train. You can hear a freight train. Wow. This is just gorgeous, guys. Wow. Um, I reckon that goes out into a shed. I wonder if we can get out there. We can. Oh, wow. 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 What is this? It's a go kart, Megan. Check it out. Anyway, let's go back into the house because I don't want to be here very long. Uh, it's a freight train coming. We're right across the road from a train, so. Can we see it from here? 
we should be. Have a look outside. Um, so we're gonna go in there in a minute, guys. But can we see a train over there? Uh, well, gee, just check it out. All right, guys, well, let's check this out. Look at that painting. Curtains up on the door. It's not nice. There's no toilet or shower in here. Wow. 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 suitcases in here guys I hope you can hear me look at that old old mirror and cabinet wow did you get this old cup yeah I'll check out the cup in a minute wow What are these walking sticks? Wow, so obviously whoever lived here obviously might have passed away. Just looking at those walking sticks. And this house is just left. Well, wow. so we'll go back up to the ceiling again. Check out this old light. Look at that, it's like I can touch that with my hand. That's how low it is. Wow, I wonder what's in those boxes. Oh, I've got the carpet. The floor's very... Wow, look at that. Yeah. I'm just going like that. This floor is very, very sketchy. What's that painting? Wow, Megan, this is beautiful. It is, isn't it? I could move in here. <laughs> Give me a toilet and a bathroom and I'll move in. What about the floor like that? I don't know. So it's obviously got power because there's a power thing there. So... But I can actually see, there's no lights in here. There was only that one light in the bedroom. Hmm. Wow. All right, guys, look, I'm going to, we're going to leave, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, it was, let's just close this door over. Um, now we'll get a bit of a look at that door. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the drone out and do a quick drone flyover, I think. Oh, what have we got in here? I'm sure I didn't check these cupboards. Some old, oh, this place is just the floorboards. All right, what have we got in here? Uh, okay, there's a couple of DVDs in there. And it looks like a DVD player. I'll just close that up. Oh, look at that. Some crocodiles. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright guys, well, let's get out of here before they come home. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this door's open, so just, yeah, that's bizarre. All right, um, we'll see you on the next one, guys. We'll see you there. This story began a few weeks ago. We noticed this eerie looking street, but it's this street that conceals this eerie looking cottage. The neighbor prays, visitations, strange sightings have all been seen in this neighboring home. Could these sightings be the spirits of Martin and Eleanor who once occupied the cottage next door? Underneath the skin of this old home lies a sad, lonely story, a story in which we will endeavour to find answers. <laughs>